Happy fall, everybody. I'm Paul Chartier. This is Heart of Gold. We have a guest in an organization and effort that we will always have on, Jenny Ramsey with the Catholic Action Center and the Christmas Store. Welcome. Thank you, Paul. This is, you know, here it is. It, it comes around quickly, doesn't it? Comes it? around every time we turn around, it, it it's seems. It's amazing. And I know that you're busy in the meantime getting up to this point. Um, the Christmas Store is an amazing, amazing effort. And we're talking before, it's how old now, Jenny? 24th year. 24 years. Right. 24 years ago, it began in the basement of Christ the King. And how many kids did you serve that first year? Well, we thought it was a tremendous amount, and there were 560 some odd kids yeah. who were served, and it was all from excess, and all because the Salvation Army Angel Tree didn't have any, uh, had run out, uh, too many people requesting, and they didn't hmm. have any baskets and uh, toys for tots. And they called us and they said, we know you all were collecting hmm. for the Hope Center, because that's what we did. The first hmm. year we were actually collecting toys and gifts for our folks to take to the Hope Center so the men would have something to send home to their families. And we had, you know, our, the basement of Christ the King was filled. And there wasn't, you know, all of the things that went to the South, you know, to the Hope Center. And we even took Salvation Army some, and we still had half a basement full. It was the loaves and fishes. So they said, would you all consider making baskets for these folks? And our response was, no, we can't make baskets. We don't have time, but we could open it up like a store and let the people shop for their children. And you've had 24 miracles happen Absolutely. And, and it has happened. And mm -hmm. to let people know, where are you located and how does this miracle happen every year? Well, it happens every year because of people's faith in the community. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's called, the Faith and Community Christmas Store. We are now at South and Christian Church on Richmond Road, mm -hmm. have been there for over five years, where we can serve the maximum that we've ever, never imagined. We have over 18,300 children shopped for in three days. Um, the amount of volunteers, you, your family's volunteered forever. We know people, I mean, now we're hearing from folks who vo volunteered as a child. Oh my gosh. And not only are they coming in, you know, they may have volunteered as teens, but now they're bringing their grandchildren, Amazing. which is making me think, oh wow. This is something, but it's part of the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. It's a way people can give back to those, yep. you know, in the community who might need something that they wouldn't have if it weren't for the Christmas store. I was remiss in introducing you and missing your two friends. Oh, yes. I brought along two friends just to let people know that these are the kind of, oh, sit up, young man. These are the Bad kind manners. of people of gifts that are at the Christmas store. People find these in their basements and in their closets. You know, gifts and toys that have been overlooked that their kids don't play with anymore. They're taking up space. And this will be at the Christmas store sharing the love of the season. So people can purge their basements, their kids can have a voice and active action in this. Hopefully. <laughs> and say, please go take all the toys that you don't play with anymore, and we're gonna go take them where? Well, it depends on when they're gonna do it. Beginning November 1st, the Catholic Action Center will be accepting uh, donations for this year's store. And that's on Eastland Drive-ish. It is 1055 Industry Road. Right we off Winchester Road. We have a big truck Road. there, so we're going to be able to accept them then. Okay. And then by mid-November, there will be hippos and semis and different things all around town. Uh, so, but beginning November 1st, they can bring it directly to the center. We have a place to store it before it goes to Southland uh, <laughs> Christian Church on Richmond Road to become part of the fabulous miracle of the 24th Christmas door. What's the website they can go to to find out where the hypocrites will be located? Uh, www.catholicactioncenter.net. Okay. We do have a Facebook page, which is Faith and Community Christmas Store. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these will 
be able to give, resp uh, will be responded to by volunteers starting the 1st of November. Uh, you also can email with questions to CACLEX2000 at gmail.com. And if you want to know what you can do to help, if you want to help more than what it says on the website, if you have more than just toys you want to give, we need people's time too. Right. So November and half of December, we need people to donate toys, games, used books. books, things for kids from what age to what age? From infants through 18 year olds. Okay. And all these things are collected. Mm -hmm. The hippocrates are around town. Mm -hmm. And how many volunteers do you need? We need over 2,400 volunteers. Now for setup, that's not even including them. Uh, I tell you though, we had to cut volunteers off last year. So that's why November 1st, the website's going up where people can sign up for the spots you want for the right. Christmas store. They're four hour shifts. On what, three days? On the three days. And you'll be able to sign up with your family, with your group, with your friends. But we don't make folks sign up for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday setup. We have the information on the website but, and we say just come. Now, groups that want to volunteer for that, we ask you to at least send us an email so we know that you've got 50 people coming or however many, or 10 or two, or if you just want to come yourself. You've got 2,400 people that volunteer. Mm -hmm. You've got three days, 17, 18, 19, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. And this starts, I think, at eight o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and it goes till what time in the evening? Eight o'clock at night. Amazing, mm -hmm. and it, how long is each shopping segment? 20 minutes. Okay, so every 20 minutes or so, mm -hmm. you've got how many people that come in? 40 shoppers that have a personal shopper with them that go through the, the store. And it's set up in a way so that people can see the different areas, the age groups. It's set up by age groups. It's done very dignified that people can shop with the dignity Very orderly, and fun. yes. Yeah, and so that they can have the chance to shop. But besides that, when they come in first, we have a gathering room that has gifts for the family. Mm -hmm. Things for like Christmas decorations and clothing for the family, that they can shop for that first. That's not part of the items in mm -hmm. the store. The, so they're able to do that. We have refreshments, we have music. We want it to be a, an experience. We mm -hmm. want it to be a sharing mm -hmm. and, and a time that they under, everyone understands we're community, we care about each other, and we want all children to be able to wake up on Christmas morning with something under their tree. The only thing I'll say is that kids can't come to the store because mm -hmm. it's to be a surprise. Yes, absolutely. Santa Claus is gonna come. That's right. And this needs to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. And let me, let me create this for people. You've got 40 people that have a certain time to show up and they're there. You've got 40 people inside with shopping carts all 40 are merged with a personal shopper. Very orderly, they weave through from younger to older, the different shopping area. And then what happens at the end? What happens at the end, we wish them a Merry Christmas. They have people who take them to the car. With and you the, wrap their gifts. Yes, there's gift wrapping available. There are people to take their items to the car. Um, it's just a sense of welcoming hospitality and making it easy so no one feels mm. like they are lesser than because no. they're p having to shop at the Christmas store. We're glad they're there. We have all these wonderful things come in. We just had 4,000 items from new clothing from a major store mm. that was donated mm. and this is just, you know, I can say this, this is yeah. October yeah. <laughs> we're doing yeah. this. So, you know, we know they're going to be good items. We also know that Keep in mind the items that were always short are the teen boutique. Think of what teenagers want. Mm -hmm. They're always tough to shop for, but any kind of sporting items, nice clothing. Remember, pre-love, gently used. We're not asking for new. Any gaming? Gaming, yeah. any of the things yep. that uh, a teenager would enjoy. But you know, the one thing is that most enjoy are ball caps and uh, 
of course, Kentucky sweatshirts, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. But even Louisville sweatshirts. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, those kind of things that can be a gift for teens with uh, the girls, personal care items. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of church groups that make small little bags, uh, you know, of some makeup and, mm -hmm. and personal care yeah. items. Yep. And the girls love those. But yes. The guys are the harder ones, you know? I know. They're, they're just harder to shop for, yeah. but we just say, look, talk to your teenager. Think about what you liked when you were 15. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if you've got an 18-year-old, there are things in your house that could be cleared out and bring to us for the Faith and Community Christmas store. We're going to get the website again in a minute, but we've got about three minutes. Mm -hmm. Tell a heartfelt story about how magical this is, either for a shopper or a personal shopper. Oh, I would say that the most magical thing that happens are for the personal shoppers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have personal shoppers that will come, they'll spend their four hours of their shift and want to stay, but they also will come to us in tears and mm -hmm. talk about the courage mm -hmm. of the shopper mm -hmm. who told their story as they go through the mm -hmm. store. This isn't about just getting gifts. Mm -hmm. This is about the connection of people. This Somebody said to me, why do you keep doing this? And I said, well, everybody, you know, the community wants to do it. There is a need. There are over 60,000 people that live at or below poverty level in Lexington, Kentucky. But the biggest reason is just seeing the eyes of the shoppers mm -hmm and the personal shoppers, they find out the struggle of those in poverty. They find out that they're, they're not the other. They're just like them. They have children they want to have gifts for. And by the grace of God. And by the grace of God, anyone is on the other side of that cart. In fact, the most heart-wrenching to me several times has, have been when people were in line waiting to get their tickets and I would see one of our normal volunteers mm. and say, come on, Mabel, you're supposed to be in here. Mm -hmm. Don't stand in line mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. And she'd say, no, you don't understand, Jenny. Yeah. This year I need to shop. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. But for the grace of God go all of us, but, but for the grace of God and the community, can we make Christmas a wonderful time? And this is a community that gives. And, mm -hmm. and when you have a plea, that you need 2,400 people, the, to, to take us from our fortunate, lucky lives that we live and see the faces and touch the hands of people that aren't as fortunate and to spend four hours hearing these stories and being affected, it changes us forever. It does, it does. So in the last minute, please give the website again and the dates again. The website is www.catholicactioncenter.net. You don't have to read all of our stuff, even though you could, but you can click on to Faith mm -hmm. and Community mm -hmm. Christmas mm -hmm. Store. Mm -hmm. uh, the email is caclex2000 okay. at gmail.com. Okay. And the Facebook is Faith and Community Christmas Store. Easy to remember. Don't forget it. We need your help. We need your hands. We need your hearts. We need your donations. We need your prayers. Because only together can we help fill the void of what is supposed to be the most magical time of the year. And thanks to you for having a heart of gold December 17, 18th, and 19th. But between now and then, collect all the used toys at Catholic Action Center on Industry Road mm -hmm. or all the hippocrates. You want to make your Christmas, go to their website. You will be very, very happy that you did. We'll be right back with Heart of Gold. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Paul. <laughs>